Anyway, thank you to everybody who sent me um, love and best wishes and healing for my hernia operation. Uh, the hernia operation didn't go ahead in the end. Uh, I've changed the doctor. I was going to journal. I searched in England and there was only these mesh operations where they don't really mend the hernia. They just open you up, stick this mesh on and close you up again. And uh, they say there's a 5% chance of reoccurrence or chronic pain. But actually, in reality, according to the documentaries and also the feedback I've had, it's a lot, lot more than that. So I started looking for uh, uh, an operation called the Shouldice method, where they just stitch it up and in a particular way. And, you know, it's the most common operation in England that inguinal hernia and I couldn't find one doctor that was going to do it in a natural way so I had to um, find a doctor in Germany. I found a very good doctor in Germany but then I was coming up to having the operation but the communication was getting bad so I looked again in England and I found two to just to keep everybody up to date what's happening with me. One did the Shouldice method and the other one did, he said it was similar to the Shouldice method. There's four, four layers of muscle, actually six layers, layers of muscle there and it's around the inguinal canal and they, they basically bring them all together around, they stick with one stitch, they pull them all in around the inguinal canal and then the stitch dissolves over a certain amount of time. And this doctor says he does the same except he keeps every layer of muscle separate because they're supposed to be separate. And I thought that they would stay separate in the shoulder ice method, but they stitch up and down through all of them. So they pull them all together in that operation whereas he stitches each layer of muscle separately so they can um, move. And isn't it interesting, like, he just does it as nature intends. And he's probably one of the only doctors in the world doing that. <laughs> isn't it incredible that... He, get all of this palaver and these plastic messages, you don't mend it, you just stick it on, whereas you can just do it as nature intended. Now he's, he never did the mesh operations, he started with the shoulder ice method before the meshes in the 80s. He didn't like the mesh because they don't mend the hernia, if the muscles are ripped they don't pull them back together, they don't pull them in, they just stick this mesh on the muscles grow into the mesh, the nerves go into the mesh, and then as soon as the nerves are in there, as soon as you move, you start getting electrocuted. <laughs> and uh, because from my last video, I've got, you know, some people just leaving comments saying they were in terrible pain from these mesh operations. Um, I said to him, well, what is the occurrence of chronic pain from your operation and he said well in 30 years or over 30 years of doing that he can't recollect a single person coming back with chronic pain not one he said I can't say if that doesn't happen because maybe someone gets pain and said well I'm not going to go back to him again but from his recollection none so I, f I find it incredible <laughs> that the most sensible, or for me the most sensible, natural way of doing it is the only way that nobody's doing. And I think it's something to do with the pharmaceutical companies making money out of these mesh products that they use for everything now. But anyway, I think I've found my doctor. Anyway, that's my two pennies worth. I thought I'd just natter and let everybody know what's going on, all the people who have been concerned and sending me love. 